Alrighty, so today we're going to learn our last graph for the unit, and it's histograms. No, not Instagram, okay, it's histogram. So we're going to go ahead and analyze and look on how to create a histogram. Now, first thing we're going to use is some data. So it says, a running club records the ages of the club members who are running in a marathon. So we have all our numbers over here. Now, on yesterday's lesson, you saw what a stem and leaf plot looks like. So if I did a stem and leaf plot for this uh, data, it looks something like this. So remember, a stem of 1 and a leaf of 6 means 16. A stem of 1 and a leaf of 8 means 18. There's two 6s, so that means there's two 16s in my data set. And it goes all the way through. Now with a histogram, the first thing you need to do is create something called a frequency table. So we're going to go ahead and look at a frequency table. Now, creating a histogram, you need to know how often something happens, and it's based on an interval. This is kind of like what we did last week with cat or a few weeks back with categorical data, but the difference is notice here that there isn't a category. There isn't like, you know, favorite ice cream flavors, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. No, that's not there. But instead, we have intervals. Now, to make it easy, we want to think about a range of numbers that we want to group this data by. So, for example, for our stem and leaf plot, all of these numbers have a stem of 1. So it has to be either 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and that's it. We don't say 10 through 20, right? It's only through 10 and 19. So let's use that as my first interval. Okay, an interval is just a range of numbers. So let's use between 10 and 19, and I want to do my next interval. Now my next one is a 2, so it goes from 20 all the way to 29. Notice we don't say 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. If I did that, then I would start to notice that there's a lot of overlap, and we don't want that. Because if we have overlap, we're not going to be able to correctly understand um, the frequency for each category. So I'm going to use my intervals uh, from 10 to 19, 20 to 21, 29, so on and so on. So there's 10 numbers in each of those. 10, 11, 12, 13, if you count all the way, that's 10. So how many numbers were between 10 and 19? Well, I have 16, 16, and 18, so that's 3 altogether. For 20 to 29, 21, 22, 3, 25, 29, there's, is, there are 4 of them. For 30, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers between 30 and 39. We have 3 numbers between 40 and 49, and we have 4 numbers between 50 and 59. So now we have our intervals and how often we see a number between those intervals. We're going to use that information to create a histogram. Now, a histogram is kind of like a bar graph, but there's a few things to notice. On the bottom, notice we don't have different categories, right? We have intervals. So in this case, there are ages of the runners. So between 10 and 19, between 20 and 29. On my y-axis, or the left side, is the frequency. So how often do we have runners between 10 and 19, between 20 and 29, so on and so on. So let's go ahead and start to shade and create bars on our histogram. So the number of runners between 10 and 19 is 3. So I'm going to shade up until 3. Over here, between 20 and 29, we have 4. So we're going to shade up to 4. Notice I do not leave a space between the bars, right? They're connected. We put them right next to each other because this is continuous data. Because as soon as I finish 19, we move on to 20. As soon as we finish 29, we move on to 30. So again, that's why we don't leave any spaces, right? There's no spaces between our bars. Between 30 and 39, we have 6 people, so we shade it up to 6. Between 40 and 49, we have 3 people. And between 50 and 59, we have 4. So guys, this is my histogram. Now things to notice, there's no gaps. Okay, so let's, well, let's look at some reminders. There's no gaps between my data, okay, that's the second, or that's one thing here. The bars touch, right? We always want them to touch. The intervals do not overlap. That means I'm going 10 to 19, then 20 to 29. I'm not saying 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, no. That's overlapping, and we don't want that. We don't want to count some numbers twice. So we want to make sure they're always 10 to 19, 20 to 29, or the numbers could be different depending on the numbers you have. Um, or the intervals can be different depending on the numbers you have, but we don't want any overlap. And this y-axis is always going to be frequency. 
It can be labeled as, you know, number of runners or something like that, but it's always going to be looked at as frequency. So let's analyze, uh, or before we start analyzing, let's connect back how we connected, how we look at a stem and leaf plot and how it goes to a histogram. So this is a stem and leaf plot for the age of the runners. If I tilt it over this stem and leaf plot, we still think about this as how many numbers are between 10 and 19? There are three. How many are between 20 and 29? There's four. And there's six between 30 and 39, so on and so on. So if I tip over a stem and leaf plot, it's kind of like a histogram. So remember, we're using these as intervals. So if I put my histogram over the stem and leaf plot, instead of saying my stem is one, let's say, oh, numbers between 10 and 19, we had three. Instead of saying my stem of two, what about numbers between 20 and 29? We have four, so on and so on. So I'm just showing you how we can connect a stem and leaf plot to a histogram. It's kind of like the same thing. We do see a lot of similarities.